Number one key to better ball handling, a secret that guys like Jamal Crawford, Kyrie Irving understand, but something that a lot of young players don't get and are doing wrong and something a lot of trainers, frankly, don't know correctly and are teaching wrong, which is why we got to set the record straight coming at you with a video from Hawaii here. Welcome in, much love. Trav, been a minute with Hoops Movement, just to let you guys know, still training very hard, doing a lot of weights, doing some surfing, doing a lot of farm work currently as I'm traveling on the MTG Pro Circuit and continuing to work on my basketball game as well, working on handles a lot and wanted to talk with you about how to train better, how to not fall into the trap that so many young players are falling into. So we're going to cover what that secret is as well as how to train in such a way that you achieve your full potential. And it really comes with an understanding and I'm going to ask you here, what is dribbling the ball supposed to do? What's the function of dribbling the ball? This is where a lot of people get it wrong and they think that if I dribble the ball in a certain way, the defender is going to jump out of my way and I'm going to be able to move in a straight line past them. That is very rarely true. You have dribbles like sham god dribble where you can throw the ball and they will, occasionally the defender will jump for it and you can go by them. Usually that's not how it works actually. You have to juke them. You have to move by them laterally, you have to make them think you're going left and you're going right. Or, I mean, ideally you're using a screen or you're catching the ball in a closeout situation and you can just blow by them. There's a lot of things you can do to make it easier on yourself. But basically, ball handling is describing using footwork and taking the ball with you, right? So if you have great quote-unquote handles, you can dribble very fast and do a lot of tricks, but you don't have good footwork, you don't have good lateral movement, you can't move side to side, then you're stuck dribbling in place, you're not going to get past anyone without help, right? On the other hand, if you've got great footwork, great lateral movement, unpredictable, long strides, weird timing, then it's going to be very hard to guard you as long as you can just bring the ball along with you, right? So basically, what that means is, and one of the uh, big problems that I see from people practicing is too much stationary ball handling. Stationary ball handling doesn't get past anyone because you have to move to get past someone. Stationary ball handling is not game-like. When are you dribbling stationary in a basketball game? Again, very, very rarely. Occasionally, you're waiting out the clock or you're waiting for a, a ball screen, but even then, usually, you're going to be under pressure and want to be able to move with the ball and take the ball along with you, right? So your dribble practice should not be stationary. It sh you should be moving, right? You should be moving as much as possible, covering as much ground as possible. This is really obvious that Jamal Crawford understands this from the way he dribbles with his long lateral strides. It looks like he has great handles, but really he just has great footwork taking the ball along with him. So my recommendation to you is do a lot more moving with the ball and specifically a lateral movement with the ball because if the defender is right in front of you, you're not going to get past them by dribbling in a straight line into them, right? That's going to, you may even, that's just not going to work very well. Sometimes you can do that and kind of blow them out of your way, but usually you're going to have to move past them side to side. So uh, that is my recommendation, and that's the number one secret. It comes from understanding of what drip ball handling is and how footwork works, but also from, I, I want to emphasize with you the importance of side to side lateral movement with the ball. So this is what a lot of my practice looks like. And, uh, you know, the spin stuff, a lot of that's more fancy uh, but for fun. But you want to be able to have various footwork and ways to get past defenders and so on and so on. So hope you find that helpful. Leave me a comment what you think. And again, uh, you want to have better handles. Pretty much simply focus on having good footwork, being able to move someone without the ball, and then throw in the ball later, right? You want to be like a running back, not exactly, not trucking people, but be able to juke past people, and then the ball should be an afterthought that you're coming with you, right? Forget crossovers, forget all that, think about, make them think I'm going right, and then I move my body to the left, or move my body to the right abruptly so fast that they're going to have to close out, cover the ground to catch me up, um, and so on. Like, you know, you can dribble in place, or rather, you can be dribbling the ball uh, basically up and down, uh, but moving side to side very fast 
and you're going to be hard to guard, right? Um, but you can be dribbling like crazy fast between your legs and just standing in one place. Very easy to guard, right? So you can simplify your handling, but uh, you should be moving with the ball. Comple make your footwork more complex. Make your ball handling more simple. So hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace out. Look forward to having hearing what you have to say and speak with you soon. Take care.